personal experience in New Zealand's outdoors has shown just how difficult it is to identify our native birds. After numerous debates about which bird call matched our recordings, I decided there must be a more accurate method to identify birds. Firstly, let's backtrack to explore the importance of monitoring our bird populations. New Zealand's biodiversity is amongst the most varied and unique in the world. Birds occupy many different niches with ecological roles including pollination and seed dispersal. Birds are significant for Māori, providing food and adornment. Invasive predators are killing at least 25 million native birds each year. New Zealand has more extinct and endangered birds than any other country and this threatens our biodiversity as well as tourism and agriculture. The New Zealand government has put forward a predator-free 2050 plan to rid New Zealand of possum, rats and stoats. $37 million is invested this year by predator-free 2050 into nine large predator eradication projects. Loss of birds in our ecosystems in the past resulted in crises for humans, such as the Chinese Four Pest Campaign from 1958 to 1962, where the eradication of the Eurasian tree sparrow resulted in locust swarms, famine, and an estimated 36 million deaths. The ability to record environmental signs is growing more relevant, as the impact of humans is of increasing concern. Birds are common, closely scrutinized and widespread, so how and where birds live provides a great baseline for scientists seeking to monitor changes in the environment. When bird populations decline dramatically, this is an indication of environmental change, such as shifts in population levels and pollution levels, habitat loss and more. Current citizen science projects rely on sight and can be inaccurate. inaccurate. With proper sound detection and classification, researchers could automatically infer an area's quality of life based on the changing bird population and also monitor pest eradication success. The solution to achieve this? Creating a mobile app that uses machine learning algorithms to identify native birds. Machine learning is when a computer is able to perform a task without using explicit instructions. This app will be able to make predictions about the type of bird through audio recordings of their calls, similar to how Shazam identifies music. The breakdown of the app. Create a dataset with examples of bird vocalizations. Secondly, pre-processing, extracting features. This includes filtering for non-bird noises such as wind or rain. Thirdly, building and training the model. Fourthly, randomizing and supplying recordings to the model. And fifthly, evaluating the model using test data. There are already some projects underway to identify birds through recorded calls, such as BirdNet in the United States, as well as a model to identify more pork in New Zealand. However, there is no citizen science component that allows users to actively engage. Citizen science is the practice of public participation and collaboration in scientific research to increase scientific knowledge. Through citizen science, people contribute to data monitoring and collection programs. Why an app? Cost effective. Mobile phones are equipped with GPS receivers, so no further cost is required for installation. Adaptable. Apps are easily adaptable, so new features can be implemented to improve the quality of data. Convenient. The tool is lightweight and prevents a simple interface for users to carry out a task. It is accessible, as there are over 14 billion mobile devices already out there. Supervised machine learning will enhance efficiency and speed in identifying bird sound. Here, a model is trained with labeled data, so the system will be able to learn rules and its weights based on samples, avoiding carrying large databases and reducing the size of the app. Implementing machine learning is flexible, and the model can be refined to recognize sound despite a variety of weather conditions and other confounding factors which may interfere with the recording. Benefits. The eventual conservation outcomes will greatly improve quality of life for many organisms, birds and humans being included. More immediately, pest eradication projects will supply many much needed jobs. New Zealand is a leader in environmentally and socially sensitive pest management, but there is an urgent need to do more to protect our biodiversity, economic and aesthetic image and population health. Application. Achieving predator free in New Zealand by 2050 requires a huge team effort. The app has great potential at walking tracks, reserves, huts and camping grounds where a QR code to install the app would encourage more users to take part in the program and monitor bird life. This informs conservation organisations and the New Zealand government about the 
the success of their conservation programs, helping to prioritize and inform where predator-free sanctuaries should be built. The app is essentially cru especially crucial in providing feedback in the lead-up to predator-free 2050 and the years following, when bird populations will be analyzed to infer the success of the project.